Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're doing something a little different, something that I've never really done before, so we'll see how it turns out. But uh, if you watched one of my other videos where I did the wet tumbling, you saw that my Tyrant suppressor went from black to silver. So what we're going to do today is try and use the Dura Heat product, or Dura Bake, sorry. Um, this is black oxide. So I've gone ahead and cleaned it with the uh, True Strip cleaner and degreaser. I didn't hit it with any sandpaper. I'm just going to leave it the way that it came out of the tumbler. Um, the uh, engraving is pretty light to begin with, so I'm just going to go with it the way that it is. I've cleaned it off, degreased it, so uh, let's go ahead and set it up for painting. Okay, so seeing as I've never done this before, this is just stuff I'm coming up with off the top of my head, but uh, what I've got here is a, is a mic stand that I usually put microphones or lights on as I'm doing some of these videos. So what I've done here is slid the tube over the top of this. This is just a little pick that's sitting in there so that as the uh, suppressor housing goes up in there, it'll make contact with the grip of that. And then I'll be able to turn it like such with the mic stand. So. That should work pretty good. I've got the garage door open, so we've got some ventilation. Uh, I don't have uh, any type of respirator other than the uh, SEA gas mask. So I'll be using that, which is better than breathing the fumes in, obviously. So once I'm done painting it, uh, I've fashioned a uh, part of a coat hanger or a, or a you know shirt hanger that I'll put through here, and then I'll take it into the house and put it in the oven I believe it's at 300 or 350 degrees. I'll double check before I do it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've shaken this paint up pretty good. This will be tricky because I'm left-handed, but let's go ahead and... It's looking pretty wet here, which from my research is kind of what you want. It's a little hard to see through this gas mask. But uh, for a first coat, that looks pretty good if I'll even do another coat. Okay. Let's roll with that and then we'll see, uh, whew, that does smell bad. We'll, we'll roll with this and then we'll see uh, how it comes out. Okay, so here we go. We've got it in the oven here. It's actually heating even though I have the door open, but uh, I had a little bit of problem putting the suppressor down in there. I think I actually did hit it on the lower rack there. Uh, so if I was gonna do this again, I'd actually probably take that rack out. I should have thought of that, but uh, Let's put it in here for a little while and uh, let it do its thing and then we'll see what we get. Okay, so here's the results. I just pulled it out of the oven. You can see it looks like there's some spots that I probably needed to put the paint on a little thicker. But overall, it looks great. Um, if I turn it here where it catches the light, it's got a little bit of a shine to it, but really not much. This is kind of about what I expected. And uh, I'm happy with it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coat and uh, Make sure that I get the ends here, which just looks like where it's a little sparse, but uh, let me do that and we'll see what the finished product looks like. Here's the finished product. Like I said, I was gonna hit it with a second coat, touch up the parts that I went a little light on. I actually ended up kind of messing it up again the second time. Overall, I still think it was worth a shot and I'm, I'm happy with it nonetheless. So what happened was I had uh, painted it for the second coat. I'll talk a little bit about the issue I had with the can, but uh, when I put it in the oven, I didn't have it secured enough on the wire and it fell down inside the oven and it landed on the rack in there. So there is a little bit of blemish in a couple spots here, but overall, I think the texture and the finish looks pretty good on this. If you didn't really know what this looked like before, you probably wouldn't suspect that this had been painted by you know somebody who didn't really know what they were doing. So I think that's something to be said for. 
If we look at the Octane here, which has one of the flattest black finishes you'll find, you'll see they aren't too much different when they catch the light. I'll show you here. This camera lighting is actually very harsh, so you'll see how the light is catching here. Nonetheless, it's still a very, very flat black. So if we look at the black oxide, you'll see that it's got a little bit more of a shine to it. You see them side by side here. Um, and if we look at the top here, you'll notice that I actually left this part out. This is the original finish here before I painted it. So you get a little bit of a uh, look at the before and after. And if I turn it in the right area here, you'll see that blemish right there where it landed on the rack. There's another one up near the, uh, yeah, right there. But overall, I think the finish looks pretty good. I will say I probably put it on a little thick. You'll see the AAC markings are a little hard to read. You can still read the serial number there, but not as easy as you used to. So I think I put the paint on a little thick right in the middle. Uh, you know, just things that you have to experience before you get better at them. I think that maybe I could have altered the way I was spraying instead of starting in the middle and going left to right. I could have, you know, gone from the back to the front and you know, there's several different ways you could go there, but uh, I will say one issue I had besides dropping it in the oven is that the uh, spray nozzle here, you'll see how it's got a little bit of paint in it. The hour and a half or whatever gap there was between the first, uh, uh, the first coat and the second coat, I guess some of the paint had got in here and dried. So when I hit the suppressor with the second coat, it spit a little bit, the texture, you know, it was a little bit different texture. Uh, I was able to, to fix it for the most part, but it's just something to be aware of. So if you're using this uh, for the second, third, fourth, you know, whatever time, just make sure that you spray something, you know, off to the side, a piece of cardboard or whatever to make sure that your spray pattern uh, looks good. So uh, other than that, I think that the Dura Bake is probably the most efficient way to do this. Now, is it the best coating? Probably not. If I could, I would do Cerakote, but you know, if you don't want to make that significant investment to buy, you know, the large uh, air compressor, the blasting cabinet, the media, all the, the spray gun and everything that you need to do that, this is probably the easiest and uh, best thing for you considering that you don't have to mix any chemicals, you don't have to buy anything else. All you're going to need is this aerosol can and an oven. They do make another product that's pretty new. It's, it's an aerosol can as well, and it's got a, a button in the bottom that you push and it releases the hardener into the aerosol can with the actual paint you shake it up the problem with that is a you have to make sure that everything is mixed up very well and b there's a certain amount of uh, you have a certain window of when you can use the whole can because after a certain amount of time the hardener ruins the rest of the paint in there i guess it starts to harden inside the can and then it's no good versus this you know you can paint here there whenever uh, keep it on the shelf and you don't have to worry about the hardening process because all the work is done by the oven. So I would say that if you want to try something like this, uh, this is the way to go. I'll be using this on some other things that I want to refinish or paint. Is this something that I would want to do, you know, an entire $2,500 gun, $3,000 gun? Absolutely not. But, uh, you know, for suppressor housings or uh, some slides that have holster wear and stuff like that, it's definitely a good alternative. So you know, obviously this is going to get some use, so as time goes on, I'll make some more videos so we can look at how this finish is holding up. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.